The restructure functionality allows you to change the organization of your assembly by moving components in and out of different sub-assemblies. And to start with, I'm going to take the exterior components and put them in their own sub-assembly. I'm going to show you for the first component over here, if I expand in the model tree, we have the placement folders expanded. Right now, this is using the default constraint, so I want you to take note of that. And I'm going to select just the first three components over here. Then when I hold down the right mouse button in my pop-up menu, I have a command that allows me to move these to a new sub-assembly. And so for the name of this one, let me choose another number and I'll click OK. I will use my default template and I'm just going to locate this using the default constraint. Then I can hit the check mark or middle mouse button and my new sub assembly is created. You'll notice that a couple of the components change color because it removed their assembly appearances. Now let's open up that sub assembly in its own separate window. And here's that first component again. I'm going to expand the placement folder underneath it in the model tree. And you'll notice now it has a fixed constraint. So default constraints automatically get converted to fixed constraints. So I'm going to edit definition and change that fix back to a default constraint. And I like that. Uh, let's take a look at this second component over here. If I edit definition, I'm going to get a warning that, hey, this has an external dependency to the assembly in which it was created. And if I click OK, it'll show that this is, I happen to know that this is looking for a coordinate system in a skeleton. So I'm going to cancel out of here and put that skeleton into this subassembly. Let's hit the assemble button and I'm going to change my drop down list. Actually, yeah, let's change this to part and then I'm going to use the subtype and change that to skeleton. And this is the skeleton that I want. I will click open and it automatically got placed as the first component in here. And now I can edit definition of the second component. Yes, I'm going to redefine and remove assembly references. And then just use the model tree to select the coordinate system that it's looking for and hit the check mark. So be aware that when you do the restructure operation, you may need to change your assembly references, how it was placed in the model, and you might want to use, uh, you should change your references to local references. In other words, references uh, within that subassembly. So again, the restructure functionality does nothing to change. Regular assembly constraints and default constraints end up getting converted to uh, fixed constraints. All right, that's good. Let's close this window, go back to the other assembly over here, and we can take other components, like I'm going to grab this component, and instead of uh, moving it to a new subassembly, I can use drag and drop to drag it into this assembly. You'll notice I get a little red arrow over the glyph in the model tree and it's placed in that assembly. That's good. And to do some other operations, let me hide this assembly so I can continue working on my restructuring. In addition to dragging components into assemblies, you can also drag them out of them. So for example, I've got this other component over here that's in a subassembly. Let's say I want it at the top level. I'm just going to drag it out and now it is no longer in that subassembly. It is at the top level of the assembly. All right, so that is good. Now, let's take a look at a couple other components here. So I'm going to grab a couple other parts over here and drag them into a, another assembly. Let's drag them into, let's see, I want them in this one. So again, you can just drag and drop to place them in the other different assemblies and then to continue on with my work. Let's hide that one. Uh, I do want to show you one restriction that you do have on drag and drop. So for example, uh, I've got, let's take, I've got this pattern of bolts over here and so I'm going to grab the component that they're assembled to 
and drag them into another subassembly. And here's the pattern of bolts. If I try to drag the pattern in there, it's not going to let me. Even if I say, hey, you know, let me try to drop it for the placement folder, it's not going to work. So you can't drag and drop with patterns. So one thing that you might do is you might delete the pattern just to leave the original instance and then drag and drop the lead component. And then I happen to know that this was created with. Uh, I'm guessing that was a reference pattern. So there we have reference. Yeah, it automatically recognizes the pattern that exists in the part. And so now I've got the pattern recreated in the subassembly. Very last thing that I want to show you, there is a config option related to drag and drop. Sometimes people don't like uh, that drag and drop functionality. And so, uh, you know, they might want to use it for reordering components, but they don't want it to restructure components. And so for that reason, in Creo Parametric 4.0, in the MO40 build code, they introduced a new config.pro option, enable drag drop on components, and the default value is all, which allows you to drag and drop for reordering and restructuring, but you could change that to reorder only so that you're not able to restructure via drag and drop. One other thing to mention besides using uh, drag and drop for reordering. Sometimes if you have trouble, you could use a dialog box for doing that as well. Let's go to the component drop down menu and here we have the restructure command. And then you can select the components that you want to uh, move and you can use the control key and actually select multiple different components. And then you can click in this field over here to activate the collector for the target assembly. But by default, it opens up over on the right hand side of the computer screen. So instead, if you hold down the right mouse button, you can choose target assembly and then pick the subassembly in which you want to place it. Then you could move your mouse over here and click the OK button. But middle mouse button will do the same thing as clicking the OK button. So again, you can use drag and drop or you can go to the components overflow menu and use the restructure command if you want a dialog box for doing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.careowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.